In this video we look at transformations given by matrices and in part one we're asked to describe A and B. Now when we have a matrix the first column shows what happens to the coordinate 1, 0. So if we look at matrix A, the coordinate 1, 0 has been mapped to the coordinate 0, 1. And the second column tells us what happens to the coordinate 0, 1. And this has been mapped to the coordinate 1, 0. So we can see how the x coordinate and the y coordinate have swapped around. So this means that matrix A represents a reflection from the line y equals x. Now for matrix B, the coordinate 1, 0 has been mapped to the coordinate 2, 0, whereas the coordinate 0, 1 has been mapped to the coordinate 0, 3. So in this case, there's been an enlargement that has taken place. The x-coordinate has been enlarged by a factor of 2, and the y-coordinate by an enlargement by a factor of 3. So this is a stretch, or enlargement. Factor 2 parallel to x-axis, but also factor 3 parallel to the y-axis. So it's been stretched in the x-direction and also the y-direction. In part B, we're then asked to find the matrix which represents A followed by B. Now to work this out, we times together A and B in a certain order. We write down A first, then after A comes B, and we write down B to the left hand side. A happens and then B happens. So we then work out what this is times together. So 2 times 0 plus 0 times 1 gives us the top left which is 0. The top right 2 times 1 plus 0 times 0 is 2. 0 times 0 plus 3 times 1 is 3, and 0 times 1 and 3 times 0 is 0. So 0, 2, 3, 0 represents the composite matrix of A followed by B.